Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. He remembers me. Why are you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Uh, Mokuno Huntunkun. Aho. Eh. Echo no Tunno Funno. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. Action. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Ugh. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir have proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. 
I'll finish later. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, that joint. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamur. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Rabinthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly. He caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. Em, what happened next? Thor killed him. Oh no, he fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Giant chisel. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost <gasps> giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. <laughs> tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Hostiles. An all fine light crystal.
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right. That was uh, something, that that fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> Your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. What can I do for you two? And for you? Something else for you then. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Come on. 
Correct. But how do we move forward? Careful! My shop's right here! We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. Came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. In that war, so many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Another crystal. Just give the word. Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. I just leave smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. seems ill-advised. That didn't work. It only fell a little ways.
Oh no, the floor is collapsed. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. Here, boy. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter that... Quiet head. Doesn't like music either. Got it. Do it. Bauer, Haust, Venter, Sumar. No, -uh, that wasn't right. Try that. House. Sumo. Bar. Venture. Atreus. That word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Solar. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Solar. 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 Head. How is this possible? I guess. Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of New Order himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well. Turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them, always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the boat! <laughs> Floor collapses.
Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. <laughs> 